In this video, we're going to look at the ways in which we can use Keynote animations to create custom timers that can be useful in class when you are trying to get pupils to achieve a task or you're maybe giving time to a conversation and you've maybe looked and you can't find any timer that is suitable. So as with uh, some of the things that we've been talking about in previous videos, it's a good idea to try and make your own and it's extremely simple to do so. Let's dive in and take a look. So. I'm going to be using Keynote for this. I've already started my Keynote file, so I'm just going to open Keynote, have a look at some of the assets and resources, some of the shapes. You could use images that you save from sites like Pixabay, but I have a smiley emoji that I've created, and you can find this in one of the asset kits on digilearn.scot. So I have this smiley face here, and I'm just going to group it so that I can reduce it down in size. That looks quite good there. I'm going to use my lines, Make sure it's in the middle of my slide. Excellent. Then I'm going to copy it again and I'm going to paste it two more times. Let's place that one in the center and I'm going to place this one just at the edge. Now notice these yellow lines let you know if you've got equal distance, if you're lined up so everything is aligned. This can actually go a long way when you're dual coding resources to keep things nice and simple. Now I'm just going to ungroup, tap the circle at the back and I'm going to make this one a green. Okay, I'm going to go green, amber, red, so that pupils have a visual representation of where they are in the timer. Now this one's already yellow, but I just think for the case of ambiguity, I'm going to use the amber colour that's in the format option. And then finally, ungroup, tap my format, which is my paintbrush, and make this one red. Now this is a good visual representation for pupils. Don't be afraid to use colour to represent certain aspects of things that are happening. So it's going to go 10, 20, 30, right? Each of them are going to disappear for 10 seconds, but I'm going to choose an animation for each. So when I tap on it and choose animate, I have the option to add in, move in, build out. I can choose the solve, and oops, I've actually uh, chosen the build in option there, so don't worry if you do that by mistake. Just tap on the animation and tap delete. I'm actually going to choose build out, and I'm going to choose the solve. In fact, Wipe might be a better option. Let's look. Yeah, wipe actually works quite nicely. That wipes it from the side, but it would be great if I could wipe it from the top down. Luckily, when I tap on this, you can see that I've got the option from left, and I can choose that it disappears from the top or disappears from the bottom. I'm going to choose that it disappears from the top, so it's almost like it's fading out. Now, for the sake of this uh, um, timer, I'm going to make it a 30 second timer, which means each element is going to disappear for 10 seconds. This one, I want to start on tap. I want it to start, I don't want it to start automatically. I want me to control. Now, a good feature of Keynote is that I can copy the animation. That means the timers, the styles, all of that copies with it. Now, I can have this choose to go after build one. And if I do that, I, I won't use the delay because the delay means it, that it will take the 10 seconds, then wait 10 seconds, then do the animation for 10 seconds. So your best bet is actually not to make it go after the build, right? but rather make it go with the build and use the delay. So I'm going to choose it with build, with the delay. Right? And as with everything, it's a bit of trial and error. So for all of them, they're all going to start at the same time. But the second one won't delay for 10 seconds and the third one won't delay for 20 seconds. Let's see if it works. 10. And now the amber one. Perfect. And finally the red one. So you can see here that it's taking a total of 30 seconds to disappear, but each element is 10 seconds. So pupils know that when it's on the amber one, that 10 seconds have elapsed. When it's on the red one, they've only got 10 seconds left. Great way to get them kind of working well and doing things together, working towards time constraints. It can be a nice feature. Now, if you want to add a bit of panache to this, a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of style, why not put in a text box that is another visual representation to pupils that their time is up? So you can change the, the text. I'm just going to write in times up here. And then I'm going to obviously change the size. I'm just going to play about with this a little bit until I get it right. So let's look here. Uh, let's play with the size. I'm just going to automatically say 200. 
Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's maybe change the size again. Let's make it 300. Okay, that's looking good. Don't worry if it's off the slide, just pull your blue dots until it either goes on one line or we can maybe play about with it. Don't be afraid to use fonts, right? There's some great and built-in fonts, but there's also some that you can download and install. And in fact, if I go through, you can see that I've got quite a few. These are all just free to use fonts. And I've got this one here called Hulk Smash. You know, that might actually be quite a nice effect. Why don't we do that so that we can have a wee look. So I could change the size, 200, okay. That makes it a bit better. Do you know, it would actually be quite good if that was just split across times at the top, bottom, and up at the bottom. So let's put my cursor at up and just tap return. And then what that will do, okay, that looks quite good. And animation with text can also go quite well. So let's change it to black. Tap text again. Now you might not know this, you notice the three dots at the end of bold, italic, underline with text. There's actually an option to outline. Why don't we put a, a green outline here? Okay, let's choose. That's quite that's quite a good effect. You know, that's almost like it's been smart. Yeah, increase the size of the outline a little bit. That gives it a bit of a glow. That's quite cool. I quite like that. Okay, that works. And maybe add a shadow. That just adds a bit a bit of style, right? Something that actually looks good but is effective at the same time. So let's animate it. And there is actually a build-in that matches this because it's like broken text. This is where using an animation can actually make a connection. So I'm going to use the anvil one here. That's quite a good, nice effect, isn't it? Yeah, so let's use that. And my option here, tap my X, tap on add in, and I want this to take two seconds. And I want it to happen after build three. So 10, 20, 30, then when it's all done, put it together. Let's see how that looks. So tap to start. Here we go, you can see my green is fading away. That's my 10 seconds. Remember, you could change the length of this if you want it to be a three minute timer, a six minute timer, a five minute timer. You could have one element, two elements, three elements. Once you get the feel for it, putting it all together can be massively effectual. So there we go, 20 seconds. Pupils are looking at this. You could add music, you could export it as a movie. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And you have this nice, simple, effective timer that has images that you want, shapes that you want, and text that you want that fits in with your class. If you've been to any of our This Is Digital sessions, you know that we talk about the time that we spent scouring, finding resources. Here's one that I've made. Here's one that I, as a teacher, have made that I can use, I can modify, I can adapt. But once I've created it, it becomes a lot simpler to do different aspects with it. Now, if I wanted to, as I say, I could go into my animate, tap on the build out, and I can change the length. I think the maximum timer that you can put on any animation is an hour. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could have a three hour timer. When you're done, you can export this as a movie, right? You've got all your timings and everything set. So if I tap export as a movie, you can see the go to next slide and go to next build. I just take those down to zero, then tap export. And then it takes my little 30 second video, my little 30 second keynote, exports it as a video and gives me this asset, this tool, this resource that I can put on the board for pupils to use. I can put it into iMovie and put a bit of a, a, a soundtrack to go with it. And instead of scouring to find an app that's suitable or to find uh, something that someone else has already created, you know, nine minutes, 10 minutes of your time to sit and create an asset that is going to have massive impact. We'd love to see what you guys come up with. Tweet at DigiLearnScott with anything that you create. If you like this video, have a look at DigiLearn.Scott for further assets. Good luck and we'll see you next time.